Okay, good morning folks. Southern California, Coffee and Questions. And today's topic is I had a friend sent me an email and he said, I'm having a lot of trouble. He goes, I made a welding table similar to, you know, what you show in your videos. And I tweaked it and played around with it and created it the way that I want. But the problem that I'm running into is my floor in my garage or my little shop is not level. So the whole welding table isn't sitting level. I mean, what can I do about it? So I did a quick web search and I came up with a couple of ideas. There's a lot of ways to level, you know, the table. I mean, I've seen people use wood blocks and God knows what else, but for just a little bit of money and a little bit more effort, simple tools, very simple way to level it. Let me show you a couple of pictures. We'll have a quick discussion. It's like your quick tip of the day. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look at the picture straight up above me, above my head here. Now, on the bottom legs of your welding table, you can see where he welded a flat piece of steel. It's got a hole in it, and the underneath side has got a bolt. Then he used this little pad, welded that nut to it, and he screws it up into the bottom. Now, you can very easily, with a wrench, if uh, he put a little too much weld here, but you can, with a wrench, I mean, you can adjust your table to where it's perfectly level. Now, a lot of people do it this way, I'm not criticizing. I think it's a simple way to do it. Yes, you just drill a hole, weld a bolt, put that nut on the pad, screw it up in there. A better way, I think, to do it if you want to spend the extra money, and I think it's a damn good way of making a very secure, sturdy level table, is let's look at the picture over here on the right. Give me just a sec. I'm going to tear down this picture of the very simple method above my head and explode the other picture, and we'll continue the conversation. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. It's not so much the welding table, but I wanted to make a note on a couple of things. He used nice wide casters. That's what I like using. They're industrial, they're nice. And so what makes the way of leveling this so nice is he used these jack stands. Now you can buy these out at Harbor Freight. You can weld pieces of round steel into the sides like he did and drop pins through them. He can level his table and it will be nice and secure and it works great. Now, the other thing this is good for is if you disconnect these and take them off, you can move this outside. You can actually level this in the ground outside on an uneven driveway or out in the dirt or wherever your shop happens to be or your garage. So this is not the cheapest, easy way to go. It's easy in a way after you go buy the four jack stands. Now, Harbor Freight would probably sell them fairly inexpensively or somewhere like E-Trailer or one of these other you know internet sites, you might find a good deal on them. These, the way he mounted these, I like it because they stay way out of the way of the table and where you're working so that you're not always bumping into it. The handles are collapsible on some of these jacks. So somebody made the comment to me, hey, take a look, those handles stick out. You'd be running into them all the time. Well, that might be true on these particular jacks of the photo that I took off of the web. You can find these jack stands that have collapsible handles. I have one on a trailer that, you know, that I built and sold. So they're out there okay you just have to look around tweak it to your own liking now the other comment um, was hey it relates to the welding table which wasn't really the topic yes it's a piece of flat bar steel that spans that side right to left i did that on my welding table it works great for just hanging up my grinders and stuff like that real fast throw my cords over it or you know when i'm done i ravel them up like you're supposed to but a lot of times it's just a quick easy place to hang you know your four and a half inch angle grinders so the questions how do you how do you make a snug fit um okay if you're talking about when the jack stand you know slides into that table you can do this one of a couple of ways you can look for jacks that already have you know that round part sticking out or you can make your own i mean you can make out of flat steel you can make a u-shaped bracket you can then weld a piece of tube you know or steel onto it from out at lowe's home depot Get one that's just slightly smaller. That's the one that will weld to the vertical part of your table leg. And you can make your own that slides over and get yourself a pin. The pin will come, you know, with the jack stand. So, you know, you can do this a variety of ways. Now, how long do you want that sticking out? I can't tell you. That depends on your table. If your table top is flush with your framing, you can make these, you know, set in you know, fairly snug. I mean, you just want enough so that when you start to crank it up and raise it, you know, nothing gets in your way, you know, on the bottom. I mean, that's a hard question that you're asking me because you really need to see the table that you have. 
when you turn that handle, the jack on the bottom is going to push down and raise everything up. So the upper part of this isn't going to interfere with anything. I just wouldn't have it sticking way far out because you want to be able to work around the table without running into things. I like it because, like I said, you can remove these by removing the pin. You can also take this whole table outside. You can level, set it up outside for your day's project or whatever you want to do. Not a lot of, uh, this is just meant to be a quick tip. I'm going to end this. This is just a fast way of showing you that you can go out in the garage and with just some simple tools and a little bit of time, you can make something like this really easily to level your table if you have a floor problem. Okay, this was just meant to be your quick tip of the day. I'm going to go ahead and end the video and I hope you click subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. You folks have a good day. Bye-bye.